Hello everybody, or welcome back to yet another video. And today what we're doing is we're doing cable management. Because obviously, you know, when you're building your PC, you've got all the parts in place, and then you look on the back panel and it looks absolutely horrendous because you of course not tied any cables down and it's an absolute mess. So what I'm gonna be going through today is how you can go ahead and fix that. All that and more after the intro. Okay, so you've built your PC, you've got it all ready, but there's just one tiny little fly in the ointment. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're doing cable management. I'm showing you how to cable manage. And I'm going to be doing this all here and now. Okay, so the first thing that you should have hopefully done, if you have gone ahead and started off, is look for any channels that are inside your chassis on the back. These sort of channels are generally designed for certain cables, like these ones up here. These will be designed for your CPU EPS cables. Over here, where these are, this is generally where your you know, motherboard power, your 24 pin slash 20 pin connector will go here. And then everything else is really just free game. So we're gonna start off with a power, power supply outlet. You've just pushed it all in and it boots. So, first things first, find what kills you can that you know are going to be easy to manage. So stuff like EPS, CPU even, 24 pin, and then any of your front panel connectors because they're all going to go in the same area. See where they are and, oh, well, these are all pretty nice. So what we'll do is we'll grab a couple of cable ties and we will shorten them. Now, the reason why we're getting these out of the way first is because these are going to be the biggest pain in the ass to leave till last. So, just grab yourself a load of cables as you need. Just put in a couple of bends in them so you can go ahead and take off the length that you need. Wrap it around. And... Bippity boppity boo, we just got to do this a whole bunch more times. So wrap you around there, slide you over, and what you want to look for is a load of loops. Now what do I mean by loops? Yeah, just... There you go, Bring that back there. Now if you look on the back, there should be loads of little metal or plastic loops all around your, all around the back of your PC on the motherboard tray. Now what you want to do with these is you want to go ahead and use them to hook on Zip ties, cable ties, literally anything which you can twist, you know, tie cables down with, that's what you want to do with these. So you go ahead and find where they are, and then you basically follow them through with a couple of zip ties. And some of us, like myself, just stick with zip ties because they're nice, they're simple, and they're super cheap. For example, this bag which I got here, there was originally a thousand of them, got them for about a tenner. It's why I like zip ties. They're cheap. And they're plentiful. It also means that when you have so many that are cheap and plentiful, you can make mistakes that you wouldn't otherwise be able to make. Because you know, one it takes two seconds to clip open a zip tie, and two, they're literally disposable, so you don't have to worry about it. Now you can use reusable ones like um, those fancy Velcro zip ties, but I don't like to use them simply because they are a pain. To a degree. Like, they are great. Outside of a case, they're brilliant. They're great for cutting down space, usage, a whole bunch of other things. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten the cable that's on this, because it's a USB cable. And then we're going to go ahead and screw it down into the back once it's into position nicely. There we go. Okay, now, now that we've got some of the more awkward cables out of the way, what we're going to do is move on to the front. So I really want to work my way through to the middle so we can get the easy stuff out of the way and then work on the harder stuff. So we're just going to group together a load of cables up here that can be nicely grouped together without fuss. Those can be grouped together there without fuss, so we'll do that now. Just grip them nicely and they will eventually conform. So 
So like that, group it together, nice and flat, pull tight, and move on. Now, you don't have to go ahead and put your zip ties so close together like I do. I just find it's a lot easier for keeping your cables together without them, you know, pulling themselves apart and getting sort of a pain to manage later on. So we're going to put three into this now. So this will be one cable bundle, and that's going to bug me being the wrong way around. So we're just going to pretend that I didn't make that mistake. We saw nothing. There we go. Just like, just like we did the rest of them, right? You saw no mistakes. Mistakes did not happen here. If they did happen, they were purely an illusion of your mind, and obviously not something which I will leave in video editing. <laughs> obviously I'm going to leave it still in. Okay, so that's one group of cables there. And we can move our way down here. So, yank and pull tightly. Now, the other reason you want to pull tightly is you don't want to pull so tightly you end up cutting your cables in half, because if you do that, then one, how, how superhuman are you? But two, the other reason you don't want to do that is because, obviously, you don't want to go ahead and break your cables, but you do want them tight enough so that there's not any give in them. So we'll just pull that tightly for a minute. And get up a couple of more, and we're also going to... We're also going to bundle up some of the smaller wires. Now, wires which you know are going to go together, like these front panel connectors here, because I know where these lead already. Group them together now. Be easier later on for when you want to get them even tighter around the actual loops which you're trying to attach stuff to. Because they'll be nice and tightly grouped together as it is. So that when you do grab one of these, they'll conform to each other rather than fight with each other. So what I'm doing is I'm working from the outside in. Because awkward cables which you can't get to first, so stuff that you'd have to take your power supply out to get the slack in order to actually adjust them. Then once you've got the awkward cables out of the way, work your way in. Give you a lot more breathing room in the long run. And whilst you're working your way in, any cables that you can group together, group them together so you just make one fatter cable. Because it's a lot easier to work with one cable than ten cables, because the ten cables will want to come apart. Now this is a little bit wasteful, and you do use more cable ties doing this. But in doing this, it makes it a lot easier to work in the long run. So now what we can see is we can make a big mega junction, if you want to call it that, down here of all these cables. And then what we've got to do is work this together so it creates a nice flat junction here that's nice and tidy. It's just a matter of getting it nice and tight and watching it all conform. There you go. So we're going to pull this out of the way, and we're also going to put our extra safe connector and that cable also into the hard drive cage, so that's out of the way as well. So what we've got left, we've got this, which looks to be, I think, yep, this is our main power one. So what we are going to do is we're going to try and group that together and just turn it into one fat cable. And that'll do for now. Now what else have we got here? We've got another cable, which we don't really need to put the cable tie on. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fold that into our little passage back here. I'm just going to roll it around itself, push in. Same thing with our 24 pin. We're just going to roll it around itself, push it back in. See? Makes it a lot tighter, a lot more compact, and a lot nicer to deal with. 
Uh, this cable here is a little bit loose, but mm, we can do something about that in a second. Right, these cables are not going to get much more. Now, now, a little trick. So you might have PCIe cables. What I like to do is, one, fold when they go ahead and come apart, generally speaking, you have the main cable that goes to your first connector and then it will spread back out onto the other one. What I like to do is fold it back in on itself, sit tight down so they stay a lot closer together, which means that when you need to plug in this big mammoth cable, they're close together and nice and easy to plug in. But what you can also do is if you only say need a 6-pin and an 8-pin, fold back your second 2-pin and just wave or refold it back, use the same zip tie, keep it nice and neat, that means they will stay together a lot easier, and on top of that, it'll look a lot nicer on the opposite side. It's a nice little trick if you don't want to pay for custom cables to look even nicer. Okay, so yeah, so to recap, what you want to do, any awkward cables that are going to be a pain in the ass to deal with later, i.e. USB cables or anything that runs along the bottom above your power supply, do them first, so that then when you go ahead and have your power supply screwed in, they're already in position, you don't have to worry about cable managing them, then they're literally just sat where they need to sit, and this sort of little gap here in between the power supply, you know, the motherboard tray and there, there's always usually a little bit of a sort of triangular gap, if you will, it's always around about here, so that's really when, where you want these kind of cables to sit, same with your fan cables, you generally want them in that area, so that once you've got your awkward cables out of the way, you then want to move on to your outside cable, so the cables that are all the way far away from your power supply. So stuff like your front panel connectors, stuff like your CPU power, stuff that is far away, do them next. But whilst you're doing them, look for cables that you can group together. So big fat cables like these, group them together. So instead of having eight individual cables here, or in this case six because it is actually just a really long cable that's been folded in on itself, group them together, make them single cables. That way it makes it a lot easier to manage because you've only got to deal with one cable moving around. Whereas if you've got eight cables, when you try and go ahead and gra grab them together, they're going to want to go and do that. But if you go ahead and zip that, tie them together into a single cable, that means you've just got one cable to deal with. Granted, it's a lot thicker, but it's a lot easier to deal with. So then once you've done all that, just keep moving on inwards until you get to the power supply, and then it's just a matter of managing where you want your excess cable-ish to go. Now you can put it anywhere. Generally speaking, I prefer to keep it in this little cubby hole here, because this is generally the nicest space for it. And stuff like your know, PCIe, anything like that, look at your connectors, think about what you can do with them. If they are ones where it's, you know, you've got the main connector here and then it loops around for the second one, go ahead and fold that up, zip tie it, it'll keep one, this second one a lot closer so it's not as far away when you're plugging it in, and two, it'll also keep it a lot neater. Same thing with the four plus, well, the six plus two, the plus two, just fold it in on itself and go ahead and zip tie the same place where you've gone ahead and zip tied them together. It'll make it look a lot cleaner than it would otherwise. You can do the same sort of thing with your, well, 4 plus 4 slash 8 pin EPS. Same thing with pretty much any cable that splits apart. It's a nice little tip for you. And okay. So that's it. That is cable match. So we'll go ahead and return to the normal studio for our outro. All right, and there you go, that is how you do it. So, if you have any questions, I'll leave them for a comment down below, and I'll make sure to go ahead and get back to you. But yeah, that's essentially how you do it. Work your way from the outside in. And of course, make sure you pack a couple of zip ties or something to go ahead and tie stuff down, and you won't go wrong. But that is where I'm going to go ahead and cap the video off. So, like the video, like it, dislike your dislike, any thoughts or questions, leave them for a comment down below. Don't forget to check out that, my Discord, Patreon, Twitch, and Facebook page, all which you can find in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell for more content from me. As always, this is the 117th Con, signing off. Stay safe out there, folks, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, ta -ra.